viewers, I'm here today with Phil Clark from Traction in New Zealand, the local four-wheel drive winch specialists. Phil, what sort of load does winching place on a vehicle's electrical system? As a rule of thumb, the type of maximum drain you could expect from, say, a 12-volt, 9,000 pound winch could spike as high as 350, 400 amps. It is a lot to expect from an electrical system. Most of the time your winching will be for short periods of time. A lot of people out there believe it's absolutely essential to have a twin battery or a dual battery system in order to run your winch effectively. Certainly it's situational, it is a good idea if you're doing a lot of winching and certainly it also will depend upon the amount of other accessories you're running in the vehicle. But in more relaxed sort of club environment with a lower level of winching, single battery systems can certainly be adequate. Do different brands of winches have different current draws, Phil? The current draw is going to vary a little bit from brand to brand. What we see a lot more these days is there is more of an accepted standard around the horsepower rating of the motors. So as a rule, you will see similar current draw ratings from the winches, but it will vary a little bit from here to there. The gear ratios of the winches can in some cases affect the current draw, but as a rule, they'll all be within a sort of 20% of each other. Phil, how can people find out more about the loads and current draws for their winch? The best way to find out is simply to contact the manufacturer of the winch. Any reputable manufacturer is going to have specifications on hand that will provide you with the current draws, in some cases layer by layer. Phil, what can we do to minimise current draw? There's a few things you can look at to minimise current draw. Some of them are encompassed by techniques in the field. Generally, finding efficient ways to use your winch, as an example, the use of a pulley block and double purchase, is going to reduce the amount of force the winch is required to exert to get the job done. Other things you can look at, obviously the winch's electrical system, making sure that all your connections are tight, uh, that the earth is good. If you do have loose connections, it is going to cause the winch to draw more amps. Even as far as the lubrication of the winch, ensuring that it's set up correctly, there's no binding, your, your drum bushes aren't producing more friction than they should or are worn out. Phil, I'm repeatedly telling our viewers that the earth of a winch is one of the most important things. Is this true? Yep, yeah, definitely true. The electrical system is hugely important to the performance of a winch and it would be fair to say that the earth is probably one of the, the biggest parts of that. Certainly one of the largest areas of, of problem with winches would be the earth. It's absolutely essential that the earth is clean, that it's a good earth to the chassis, preferably a negative or your earth back to the uh, vehicle battery. It's a more efficient way of doing things. With that type of connection you can certainly be more comfortable that you have got a good earth. How should people check their wiring? A visual inspection is always a good way to start. You can work your way right through the electrical system, inspect it visually, looking for any signs of corrosion. There may still be an issue. In that case, we'd suggest looking at using an auto electrician. Thanks again to Phil Clark from Traction in New Zealand for your insight. We look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Thank you very much.